good news and bad news. Bad news, <laughs> the roads are wet. Good news, yeah. the rain is out before the afternoon. Yeah, yeah, we're in for a lot of sunshine today. The problem, though, is that the wind we're going to see will likely take a few more trees down today. So those dealing with power problems may have a couple lingering concerns or maybe a couple new areas could see some of that issue before the day is done. Not a perfect day, but again, the storms are out of our area. You can see a lot of activity out in Charlotte right now. That's where the storms have now moved. But for us, they've basically broken apart. A couple rain showers are left, but they even still will clear out. We are in for a windy day in the wake of all of it, though the wind will help to usher in a sunnier sky. Temperatures will be impacted by this wind as it picks up. For now, 5 to 10 mile per hour winds, uh, though a few spots a little stronger, up to 16 miles per hour down to Greenwood. That's where also we're seeing some gustiness with uh, gusts over 20 miles per hour. But throughout the day, the wind will pick up everywhere, gusting over 30 miles per hour for much of the upstate. Highs do get up to 81 degrees after the morning rain and storm chance uh, clears out. Mountain towns about 70 degrees today with isolated showers again clearing and then having that sunshine develop with strong wind in the higher elevations over 40 miles per hour. So the wind is going to be the one thing that takes us away from a better rating today. I'm calling it an 8 out of 10. Uh, it could be a perfect 10 if the wind weren't so strong. So that's the one thing to hold on to and the wind is going to be what brings us much cooler air in the days ahead. Tomorrow afternoon after 80 degrees today, tomorrow's barely going to get into the low 60s, possibly touching into the 50s in North Carolina and by Friday night through Saturday morning everyone drops into the 30s. So we have some much colder air coming and then after we get through that chill on Saturday Sunday brings another storm threat. So Sunday's severe weather for us is mainly into Sunday night. We'll have to wait for it to get here in the later hours of Easter. So Saturday looks good to stay sunny. Sunday starts with cloud cover and dry weather. Sunday evening brings widespread rain and then we actually do have a severe weather threat once again S late Sunday night. Look at this. Some really intensified rain rates coming down. Uh, we could see some strong to severe weather with damaging wind, possible hail. Uh, we're in that spring season where this can tend to uh, kind of pop up every now and then. So we'll be watching for that at the end of Easter weekend. Today though 81 and sunny with strong wind. Tomorrow's a lot chillier. It's 63 with a breeze and sunshine. Saturday warms up a little bit bit more before again that Sunday storm threat returns. Now to get to your riding forecast sponsored by Harley Davidson of Greenville. Of course, with that rain threat on Sunday, we're actually looking at a better day to ride on Saturday. 67 with sunshine, just barely a couple clouds out there. It's really going to look good. The wind shouldn't be all that strong. Mountain towns will have it the same. Saturday's the best day to ride as Sunday. Easter Sunday, of course, brings the rain and the storms.